Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new playlist on our YouTube channel. So this is all about uh, SAP automation with Tricentis Tosca. So until now, we have seen a lot of videos uh, which I have already created on our channel, which is related to uh, web application testing, mostly with Tricentis Tosca. But now uh, we'll be focusing on the SAP application automation. So coming to the first lesson in this particular playlist, this lesson is all about setting up the system under test, which is the SAP GUI application. So we will require a sample application on which we can uh, perform test automation with Tricentis Tosca. And uh, this can be set up uh, with the help of uh, the Tricentis uh, support portal, which provides a lot of details on um, how you can set up a sample SAP application. So they have the system and the connections through which we can uh, basically build this uh, sample uh, SAP application. Okay, so what are the steps involved uh, in this particular setup is we need to first download and install the SAP GUI application. Then uh, we need to uh, create a connection uh, to the particular SAP system. Uh, as I said, it is provided by Tricentis. And then uh, we can also activate scripting on the system. Uh, and then we will also be provided with a sample login credentials again from the Tricentis support portal. OK, so it's very important that you have got uh, the support portal account in Tricentis uh, from where you can access all this information. OK, so coming to the first step, uh, we need to first download and install the SAP GUI Windows application. Now, there are several ways to do that. Uh, you can directly download it from the SAP website, but for that you will require uh, a SAP account. OK. And if you don't have that account like me, then you can uh, fall back upon some other websites which provide this particular installer. OK, so one of this website is uh, this website, which I found. And here uh, you'll find the link to download the SAP GUI application. OK, so uh, it is listed in the step one, which is to download. So we can go to this particular link. And here uh, we will find the SAP GUI Windows uh, link or installer to download. Uh, we also have the SAP GUI Java uh, applications, but we will be downloading the SAP GUI Windows. OK, uh, this is a zip file, so you can click on this installer link and it will uh, start the installation. OK, to save some time, I have already downloaded this, so I am going to uh, disregard this particular download. And we will directly go uh, to our downloads folder. Here uh, you will find this particular zip folder which has been downloaded. And now uh, we need to first unzip this particular file. OK, so I'm going to extract this uh, here itself. Uh, it will take some time. It's a pretty big uh, installation folder with lots of different files. Once this is done, then uh, we will see uh, how we can launch the installer from this particular folder. OK, so the unzip operation is complete now. And now if I open this particular folder inside this, we have got the actual folder. And as I said, there are lots of folders and files inside this, but we need to click on the setup all. OK, so this is the installer which will start the installation process. So double click on this. And then it will launch the SAP front end installer. So click on next here. Now there are many options uh, or many types of applications which you can uh, install from here but we are we only require the sap gui for windows 8 okay so we'll install this so i'm choosing this particular option and uh, then all the other uh, applications inside this will also be selected okay so click on next and then click on next and then it will start the installation so we'll wait for the installation to complete and then we'll proceed on to the next steps. OK, so the SAP installation is complete, uh, although there are four errors, but uh, don't uh, give much importance to these errors if you get them. Uh, and then uh, let's go ahead and search for the SAP GUI. OK, so this is the name. So you will see a SAP logon 64 application uh, in your system. 
when you search for it so open this application now and it will launch the SAP GUI for Windows so it will look like this um, so I have already created a connection earlier that's why it is showing it here but let's go ahead and delete this because I want to show you how we can create this particular connection okay so for this uh, first we need to go and click on this new button okay and uh, that will start a new uh, system entry okay so here uh, then uh, double click on this user specified system okay um, ours will be the custom application server so in description uh, now we need to enter some information like IDS extern okay and then um, we need to enter the application server so all of these details are already available on the Trascentis support portal so let me show you where you can grab all these details okay so if you go to this particular URL on support and sign in with your credentials then uh, here it will generate a SAP username and password which will be using it later on but here are the steps okay so uh, first you launch the SAP application then click on new icon and then uh, you make sure that user specified system is selected and then click next and then uh, this is the description this is the application server so we'll copy this from here and uh, we will paste it here and then the instance number is 10 okay and system id is 103 okay so these are all the details which uh, we have to select or enter okay so now uh, we will click on next okay so here uh, we need to select the high speed connection LAN okay in the network settings and then uh, we have to click on next okay so here uh, we don't need to make any changes and then we will click on finish okay so that will create this particular system here now uh, we have to log on into this particular system okay and uh, as I said uh, the sample credentials are already generated uh, when you log in or go into this page so we are going to copy the credentials from here and we will paste it here here I need to type the password so I'm going to type the password here okay once you do that uh, you have to uh, press enter okay so uh, I have already used this uh, user once and that is why it is not allowing me to uh, do a repeat logon so what I have done is I have generated a new username from a different account and let's try to now use this particular user here okay so I'm going to now type the password here okay so as you can see uh, now it accepted the user password uh, do note that you can use the username and password just once uh, when you generate it for the first time and then you need to change the password okay so I need to enter a new password here okay so I'm going to enter a new password here okay okay so it is not accepted uh, let me try once more and then uh, once you do click on enter okay so this time now uh, the a username and password uh, was accepted and I have changed the password so I'll be using that password from the next time okay so once you change the username and password do keep a note of this because that will be used later on okay so once you get this copyright message so that means uh, the system uh, was successfully logged on and then uh, it will land you to this particular SAP page or the SAP application okay now uh, we have access the sample SAP system okay now the next or last step is to activate scripting on uh, the client which is the SAP application okay so this is required 
uh, for Tosca to uh, access the SAP objects. Okay. Okay, so here uh, from the top menu, you will see the last option, which is the settings. Okay, so click on that uh, settings icon and then uh, we have to choose the options here. That will bring uh, us to this particular options menu. Here uh, we need to basically uh, go to accessibility and scripting this option. Okay, and then expand it and then you will find here accessibility and scripting. So here we need to go to scripting and then um, here we need to click on enable scripting. If it is not enabled, then enable this. And uh, if all these uh, options are somehow enabled, then make sure that you need to disable these first two options. Okay, so we need to disable notify when a script attaches to SAP GUI. And we need to disable uh, the option notify when a script opens a connection. Now, all of this is to make sure that we don't encounter any issues when we uh, are automating the SAP application. Okay. If you face any issue, then you can always restore the options to default. So these are uh, the settings which we need to change. Once you do that, click on apply and then click on OK. OK, so once you do that, your SAP GUI application is now ready and configured to start automation with Tricentis Tosca. In the next session, we'll be going through all the standard modules which are part of the SAP engine inside Tricentis Tosca. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.